Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, holy deep divers of the ascending presence of our kingdom of heaven on earth. Solaris continues to release constant explosions of solar flares and an array of nuclear fission, producing multiple C-class and over 18 M-class flares in the last 48 hours, with the most powerful today being M4-class flare. Pulses of extreme ultraviolet radiation are ionizing the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing frequent shortwave radio blackouts. The violet ray is enveloping Gaia and all her children of the sun with waves of gamma plasma for the full transfiguration and transformation into light guardians of Terra Nova Gaia, Mothership 33 of the Universal Alliance of Light. Our blessed central sun and prime creator, mother, father, God, are flooding this realm with higher dimensional frequencies of love light. Through this purging and cleansing process, we are out with the old and in with the new. Anything that no longer serves Mother Earth and all sentient beings of the way are being resolved perfectly in the unborn mind of Buddha. This is pure awareness of the perfected true nature of all living beings of new earth. As the serpentine kundalini energies ascend up the spine of Pachamama in each individual consciousness, the energies rise through the dragon lines with the song of freedom. As we complete our planetary liberation and free all beings from the wheel of birth and death of samsara, with the compassion of the Divine Mother, the wisdom of Buddha, and the love of Christ, we activate the Trinity threefold flame within every living heart to transmit the bright virtue and fulfill our sacred mission of Operation Paradise of the Tree of Life and the Tree of Knowledge merging in Heros Gamos as the eagle flies with the condor to the pure land in the grace and honor of the Holy Spirit. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of the white flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 3 degrees. 59 minutes Libra. The sun is at 25 degrees, 10 minutes Sagittarius. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 4 degrees Libra. A group of young people sit in spiritual communion around a campfire. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 26 degrees Sagittarius. A flag bearer in a battle from astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron, Spirit is about to do another huge rearrangement of contracts and roles in the next few days. As doors close, more will open. Completion of many karmic overlays. Completion energies in the field. Divine Child Reborn. Creation codes for the next phase. 144,000. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, There is an awakening of the heart, a true melting of all that is not in alignment, here to seed this planet with love. Guardians, the kings of old, renewed in young bodies, the real energetic ley lines, sentinels, dragon protectors in the flesh, showing up bringing deep remembrance and honor. I am so thankful and grateful. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. A solar flare today has a specific divine designation. It is to activate the original 144,000 into motion and higher divine service in alignment with the divine plan and planetary mission. Love and Light, Rick. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. 
pull back. Maintain the cosmic perspective. Stay close to your source self during this passage. Meditate. Pray and hold ceremony on the land. Keep the heart feather light. Express the emerging divine self in thought, feeling, word, action, and creation. Let us show humanity what is possible with Ascension. From AscensionPath.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Roberto Nunez. You are experiencing extraordinary gifts coming into your life. These gifts are otherworldly things you never dreamed of receiving, but will be so glad you did. They are popping in the next 24 hours. Awesome, the light is here. Earth's connection to stabilize your light pillar so you feel balanced. Hydrate to avoid headaches as plasma light is activating your inactive DNA from silicon, carbon, to liquid light. Your body will feel sore while recalibrating. The merging of timelines will bring deja vu and glitches in the matrix. The plasma of light of divine love infuses us in this earth with the most amazing energies. Stay close to your source during this passage. Trust the plans of the universe to make you feel the love of another world that exists. The love for which you have prayed has arrived. December 16, 2022 And from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin. Live cosmic energy update the supernova of the heart event is here. Since we crossed over to the other side on the 13th, the sun has started its fireworks display and supported our purification and ascension process with too many C-class flares to count and a non-stop avalanche of so far 32 M-class flares since the 14th. The final liftoff sequence is in progress. This is the end of the old world as we fully rebirth our already ascended diamond avatar self and new organic divine creatrix field. There comes a time when nothing is meaningful except surrendering to love, Rumi. And such is this time now as we fully transcend all notions of time, space, and gravity through the infinite power of true divine love which dissolves all that is false and artificial, revealing the real truth that makes the impossible possible and breaks all the laws of the cosmos. All sense of separation is dissolving in totality of the singularity now, within the oneness and the sea of pure, true, divine love that is healing all now, timelessly so. All false projections, perceptions, and judgments fully dissolve and with it all remaining negative entities, fallen angelics and shadow beings, AI, lower coatings, traumas, miasmas, along with the artificial matrix overlays, and realities fully dissolved too, as it's all interconnected. As all has been and always is, an inside-out projection of the one consciousness. No longer will we take on the false projections of another or cast our own unacknowledged shadow aspects outside of us. With it, the monsters and demons disappear. After all, what is evil but the unconscious aspects of the self and collective? Can you feel the oneness and pure, true, divine love tsunami taking over now, dissolving all remaining illusions, false projections, and perceptions, inverted false and fear-based thought forms and beliefs that the old artificial matrix was based upon, as this is what dissolves the false matrix realities and hologram, along with its false light matrices within your own field and consciousness, realities, fully now. All fallen timelines and realities dissolve as we have learned our lessons and see through the inversions within the consciousness. False pictures of reality, false memories, false matrix realities, and holographic overlays, which are all based on false perceptions and projections, judgments, fear-based thought forms, and beliefs. Now we are about to begin all over again, now that we know and will do better. We've been tested in our mastery whilst navigating through very stormy and bipolar energies as all the traumas and wounds and reversals were fully cleared. Mental emotional mastery is key. Our cosmic reunion has been initiated 
and is in progress as the one cosmic monad unifies again as one. The love felt between the twin flames and divine counterparts is bringing divine unions into manifestation for many now, as all the interference patterns have been removed, bringing balance, harmony, and unity to all. All heal as we see one another through the all-seeing eye of God, no longer feeling more or less than any other, no longer separate, in competition, feeling threatened or having to fight any other. All part of the healing of the One, the cosmic monad and holy trinity, as the holy grail queens and kings and cosmic dragons have returned, restoring cosmic divine order and justice to all which is happening now, in no time whatsoever. Remember, time equals false artificial matrix. It has all already happened. Eternal love, Ramona. 144 coming in. From Divine Brothor of the Light Nova Max, the first wave of ascension, 144,000, final preparation. We have entered the final moments of preparation for the first wave of ascension. Of the 144,000 Blue Ray Co-Creator Ascended Masters, December 2022 anchored the final major codes for the phase of crystallization of the template holders, which will last until the spring equinox. Period of acceleration growth and reinforcement of the creative power. Mirrors are being purified at their highest. Self-love is gaining momentum. Attraction and magnetism is reaching new heights. Divine unions are approaching rapidly. New paths are opening suddenly. The journey is walking with sacred faith. Discipline and movement in every facet. Balancing of the symbiosis of the body. Through the understanding of the function of feeding, cells are actively mutating into solar cells. Pulsation of the thymus activating all glands. Key points for overall production of peptides, hormones, neurotransmitters, and regulation of nervous system, lymphatic systems, vascular system. Growth hormones are being released in quantity. Cellular etheric regeneration peaking. Endocrine levels are upgrading, bringing mental clarity, willpower, and emotional intensity. Choices are being made only for the highest good. Thoughts are one with the Creator. Will is one with the Creator. Realization of the deeper meaning of love. The many love of one. Love is compassion. Love is curiosity. Love is dedication. Love is discipline. Love is admiration. Love is protection. Love is courage. Love is sacrifice. Love is power. Love is creation. Love is nurturing. Love is peace. Love is as one love is all complete merkaba activation soon to be singularity is being felt all is one adonai honor to serve the great white brotherhood of light council of the throne and the eternal mind nova max from divine sister of the light judith kusel the immense cosmic breakthrough is happening we are in a cosmic moment which is unprecedented, and my heart and soul are filled with joy, awe, and wonder as I am being shown this. The new earth is now totally anchored in, and she is pulsating with so much beautiful white golden energy that all is now bursting forth with new life, life forms, and the new humanity. We are in the middle of a huge super quantum shift, and the old earth is in the process of total disintegration and a pole shift is imminent. In what form or way I cannot say, but we will now experience more and more weather changes on a global scale, volcanoes erupting, even dormant ones, earthquakes, tsunamis, etc. And all of this is merely the breaking through moment when the new earth totally takes over all aspects of life and life forms. I cannot find words to express this, but that this beautiful golden energy, white golden energy, is now pouring into humanity at large. It will bring a greater awakening on all levels, and thus all is being churned up now, with the blinding spotlight illuminating all within us and around us, and all which was hidden to surface, 
even our deepest hidden shadow selves and that of the entire world. Yet through this all there is so much joy as the rebirth is accelerating the ascension process and all which is now opening in unprecedented ways. With the higher heart fully activated in the next few days, the higher mind will be activated as well, and thus now we will be able to access what we just could not access or experience nor apply before, simply because our vibrational frequency was too low and our physical bodies were too dense to handle such high frequency information and knowledge. The old earth is indeed departing, crumbling up, disintegrating, shrinking more and more, and the vastness of the new earth is taking over. I see this and stand in awe and wonder. Miracles are happening. It will be as if the old earth will throw her last death throes at us now, as will the old structures, forms, old ways of life and living. Yet the old earth has fulfilled her own soul contract, and she knows this. It is her time to make way for the new. It is wise now to just go deeper inward and abide in unity with your own soul and divine within. Keep that heart center open no matter what and allow it to open even wider. Constantly clear your energy fields and become aware of whatever is there grabbing your attention and then immediately bring yourself back into balance and harmony again. It is important at this time that we as light workers truly focus on allowing ourselves to be transfigured and to go through even deeper and more profound purification processes so that we can lead by example. If you cannot do your own inner work and allow yourself to be transfigured, you are not going to be able to assist anyone else. For every soul has their own unique transfiguration process as our soul records and our soul calling and purpose is not the same. The soul mastery lessons and whatever the soul needs to pay attention to is unique. It is here that our support systems from the divine and the company of heaven can assist where no human can. Mainly because no human being alive on the planet at this time truly had any inkling of what will happen and when and how. We are stepping totally into the unknown and unexplored now, and this is why the presence of the intergalactic councils and fleets are expanding and why they are making themselves visible to us. They have always been here, we just could not see them, because we were blindfolded by false information. More than this, the universal masters are now stepping in to assist soul, high evolved souls who are so highly evolved that our minds cannot even grasp this but our hearts and souls know. We are going into the greatest cosmic breakthrough and shift which ever happened on earth and beyond, as the Milky Way galaxy is transfiguring as well as this whole universe. We need to be flexible and bending, flowing like water, and allow all rigidity to dissolve, the fears of survival and whatever is churned up. The old will not work anymore, it cannot for we are now functioning on a different dimensional frequency band as multidimensionality is here as the ninth dimensional state has now opened exceeding the seventh. The ascension acceleration is such that our physical bodies will often have great difficulty keeping up with the higher frequency and thus will need our attention, but all is in a huge state of transfiguration. Give yourself the space and time to rest to switch off the cell phones and all electronic devices, and to just simply be silent and still. The cosmic breakthrough will accelerate everything in the next few days leading to Christmas, with huge super cosmic quantum shifts happening on all levels. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Satellite Families as I continue my day, I feel an energetic presence gently penetrate my light field, a wave of light, in the impression of a hand gently rests on my shoulder. I am shown a light impression of this now moment. Light families throughout our world, bright clusters of activated light. Examples of our world advancing as the true narrative of our future is manifesting moment by moment. We ask you to acknowledge your contribution thus far. Simply see this light connection in this now moment. For these daily messages are a satellite of light for you to connect, anchor, and grow. 
we ask you to acknowledge the presence of you this now moment of creation for the building of light is a solid foundation the awakenings of now is an ancient message resurfacing for many simply follow the light path to seek the answers you seek the true awakening of your world is the power you keep like a solar light battery you simply need to continue to be charged and activate in light with love for your journey sending waves of cosmic love the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code slow down and take a time out for rest and renewal this weekend patience is needed now as we wait for the energies to pick up again with the 1221 portal know that behind the scenes the divine is clearing the path to receive your dharma this is part of your new earth leadership role that will bring a lot of fulfillment to your career and personal life so allow the dust to settle after all the upheaval and changes that have been happening come back into the body and align with the new spiritually evolved you that has new knowledge new ideas and a new point of attracting what is best for you in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and from divine sister of the light adrian elise gaia daily december 16th through the 19th fresh new start the sun is coming to the end degrees of sagittarius having just made a square with neptune in pisces this week the sun crosses over the galactic center it's an activation of our true path as we face where we got knocked off our spiritual destiny in the piscean age the sun on the galactic center in sagittarius will be exactly one sign over from pluto in capricorn pluto has been at these degrees in exact opposition with black moon lilith and cancer all month this puts the sun and sagittarius in an inconjunct relationship with black moon lilith and cancer speaking to an adjustment that needs to be made we have been clinging to a false human identity of being separate from source which has caused all kinds of pain and suffering it's time to heal this core wound so that humankind can step into their greater destiny and evolve out of this mess next week the sun will come into a potent square with jupiter just when moving into capricorn on the solstice it's the long-awaited event of jupiter finally in direct motion moving over from the painful last degrees of pisces and into aries for a fresh new start jupiter crossing over this aries point three times this year is telling us a powerful message divine timelines are landing it's time to get up and go in square the sun jupiter is ready to take a leap but hesitates it's not until christmas day that jupiter is released from this tenth square and can begin to take off in new directions mars will continue to be retrograde until january 12th bringing a slow start to the new year give us plenty of time to prepare for the massive changes that lie ahead mercury is just starting a retrograde cycle in capricorn which is about rewriting our story around where we have given away our power to external authority mercury turns retrograde on december 29th staying in capricorn for over two months it's time to get this figured out for good we have no choice but to claim our sovereignty mercury will make three squares with chiron and aries during this retrograde season representing the fight for our own mind and energy we are feeling the first square of mercury with chiron this weekend next week venus and capricorn will come into the square with chiron we are being challenged to claim back our life force and freedom these squares happen with chiron at 11 degrees aries 11 is a number that represents the facing down of conflict chiron will linger at 11 degrees aries into the new year chiron will turn direct on december 23rd the same day as the new moon that happens at one degree 33 minutes of capricorn and squared at jupiter at zero degrees aries the pressure is on to break on through 
It's a new start for human autonomy and spiritual evolution. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Last quarter moon in Virgo. Mercury in Capricorn, Quincunce Mars retrograde in Gemini. Venus in Capricorn, sextile Vesta in Pisces. The quarter moon sits close to Ceres, anoretic in Virgo. Emotionally, we're fretting over details and to-do lists whilst worries escalate. Mercury's connection to Mars feels flustered, adding to an urgent need to see immediate improvement in circumstances, especially if we're putting in a lot of effort to make that happen. But sometimes it takes time for tangible evidence of goals to manifest. The sun calls us to remember the bigger picture, to have faith, to believe in our vision. Guard against reactivity and impulsiveness born from impatience. Keep on looking up. With Venus and Vesta connected, here is an opportunity to ground ourselves in what is sacred. Make time for self-care and relaxation. Create space for spiritual nourishment and creative pursuits. Don't allow the weight of worldly responsibilities to blinker you from life's wonder and beauty. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 212, Yellow Self-Existing Human. Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are definition, form, and measure. With every wave spell on the fourth day, we must take stock and consider more carefully our situation. It is vital you know where you stand before you take another step forward. Consult a map ask for directions. We can all experience self-analysis on number four days, and this can make us feel a little insular. Today is yellow human, and it represents free will, wisdom, and influence. Yellow human days are about opening oneself up so messages from spirit can be channeled. All humans are psychic naturally. It's not just animals that can sense when an earthquake will occur or when rain will come, we too can do this, but we have lost touch with our natural abilities. These abilities dwell within us and have not been lost. They just lie dormant in most people. On human days, it's good to tune in and activate that channel. Free will is a key word too, because we have free will to do with this information what we choose. Intuition is a handy tool and it's up to you if you wish to use it. As it is a number four day, it is important to look very closely at any messages you receive, even if at first it doesn't make sense to you. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Self-Existing Human, 4 Abe, Keen 212, 16th of December, 2022, Defining and Shaping a New Reality. 1612, 2022 equal 736. 73 into the 37, heaven on earth. Equals 7, 9, equals 16, equals 7. 7, 7, the sacred 77, spiritual magic portal. Day code 16, the tower struck by lightning, unforeseen events. 7, mystic magic, spiritual initiation, solitude. Month year codes 369, Nikola Tesla code, all month of December. 12. Spiritual Strength, Wisdom, Learning, Creative Self-Expression. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Creativity, Communication. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clair Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Using our intelligent mind to break out of the box. 18 months ago on Keen 212 occurred 14th of July 2021. Of course, this was Bastille Day, the French National Independence Day, which commemorates the storming of the Bastille prison in order to free the people from the tyrannical king's rule. They literally bombed their way out of the jail box. Today we link back through the Zolkin to this convergence of time. Choosing to free ourselves once again, Choosing peace and harmony over greed, power, and control. Whatever we consciously reject enables us to define exactly what it is we wish to create. The process of elimination of the undesired events and patterns make way for the good to flow. 
Keen 212 equal 5. Freedom liberation with the tower code. Boom. A day of consciously choosing to redefine your reality in order to break out of the old box. Day 4 in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow. Today we are defining how to go with the flow by measuring our wise choices which influence greater flow in our lives. Tone of creation self-existing tone 4 operates in the mental realm. Action measures power defines essence form. Self-existing number four takes form, and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Today we delve into the mental realm and use our minds to align with our highest potential destiny and define what it is we wish to build in our life. What form will our life take in the future? Defining how we can access more elegance and flow in our lives, using our free will and God-given powers. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of elegance and peace through your pure mind. Go forth and build this new foundation for an elegant new world to take form. Tune in and surrender to the divine plan for your life and the greater plan for humankind. So precious hearts, today we break out of our old box and go with the new flow, leading us all to greater harmony and joy. Now is the time to move to a bigger, more beautiful box. Viva la revolution! Today's question is how can I define a better reality through divine wisdom, choosing positivity in order to go with a new flow? Divine blessings for freely flowing in a pure stream of consciousness Merrily, 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 down the stream we flow. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 212, yellow, self-existing human. The mantra, the code for today is, I define in order to influence. Measuring wisdom, I seal the process of free will. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of elegance. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Neve, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the eagle and the condor, sacred snow angel. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe account, both links at eaglelovecondor.com. And I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer and invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayers and invocations to the fourth ray, dazzling white ascension flame. Prayer for self-love and for ascension. From the Lord God of my being, I am that I am, I decree. I have love for my journey into my ascension. I have compassion for all physical and emotional pain I still need to heal. I give thanks that I am now healing the past and resurrecting the new. As a master of divine expression walking the earth, 
I now turn on the light of my divinity. I now activate and transform my DNA to its fifth dimensional potential. I now choose to completely heal and rejuvenate my physical body. I choose to remain happy, harmonious, and grateful. I claim the mastery that is mine to manifest my freedom. I allow my divinity to manifest in a most wondrous way. I give thanks that it is done according to God's holy will. I call for shafts of ascension light to maze through me daily and hourly, and so be it, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed weekend ahead and our continued journey through this most powerful solstice gateway on 1221. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, in the name of the Holy Spirit and the white dove of peace. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.